So what we are required to find is in the given circuit there are two resistors connected uh, 12 ohm and the other one is 4 ohm. So 12 ohm and 4 ohm. Okay, two resistors are connected in between the terminals P and Q. You need to find the total current in the circuit when these two resistors are connected in series. So once they are connected in series, the total resistors of the circuit would be 12 plus 4, which is 16 ohms. That would be the total resistance of the circuit because they are connected in series. Yeah, so the total voltage V over R uh, V is given as 6 6.0 divided by 16 Just hit it on the calculator quickly and let me know what do we get here Alright, so here we have the next part Now the two resistors The same two resistors 12 ohm and 4 ohm they are connected in parallel and we need to find the current passing through the emitter means we need to find the total current of the circuit because emitter in this position is going to match the total current of the circuit now once you have connected two resistors 12 ohm and 4 ohm once you have connected them in parallel the total resistance would be their product alright this is a shortcut product divided by sum so it would be 48 divided by 16 but we gotta find the total current the total current equals to total EMF or the EMF of the circuit 6.0 divided by the total current sorry the total resistance which is 3.0 and that would be 2 amperes and you see see other than the answer other than just calculation you should realize something you should analyze from the circuit when you connect the same two resistors once you connected them in series the total current passing through the circuit was 0 0.38 amperes but once you connected those two same resistors but in parallel the current passing through the circuit has increased so you connect more resistors the same resistors if you connect them in parallel the overall resistance of the circuit decreases and hence the current increases okay over to the next one uh, state the relationship between the resistance R and the length of the wire at constant cross-sectional area so they are directly proportional to each other you can write in description uh, the resistance R and the cross-sectional area of the wire of constant length then we gotta write it as they are inversely proportional okay here we have the next one the 12 ohm and 4 ohm resistors are wires of the same length and ma made up of the same alloy calculate the ratio of cross-sectional area of 12 ohm resistor divided by sorry uh, cross-sectional area of 4 ohm resistor ratio already means divided by okay so what we can do is the ratio of the two resistors let's call it R1 and let's call it R2 the ratio of the two resistors is 12 divided by 4 and if you simplify it further it would be 3 over 1 or simply 3 now the cross-sectional areas are inversely proportional uh, related inversely so the more the cross-sectional area the less the resistance so what we can say is R1 over R2 
since everything else is a constant then they are related to the cross-sectional area like this equals a2 divided by a1 because if you increase the area of cross-section for the first one the resistance of that one would decrease so they are inversely proportional now what was the value of R1 over R2 so what you can write is A2 over A1 just to simplify it equals to the ratio of resistance and the ratio of the resistance was 3 what we need to find is because 12 ohm is your R1 and the area of cross section of, of this one would be A1 and the area of cross section of the other one would be A2 so this is the ratio of A2 and A1 what we need to find is the ratio of A1 to A2 so we are trying to find A1 divided by A2 so all you can do is take the reciprocal if A2 over A1 is 3 then A1 over A2 would be 1 over 3 or 0 0.33 recurrent now the other thing the other variation instead of the area of cross sections if they have vast you for the ratio of their lengths so the for the ratio of their lengths whatever the ratio of the resistance is the same would have been the ratio of length because length and resistance are directly related and for the other case in case of cross-sectional area whatever the ratio of resistance is the reciprocal of that thing would be the ratio of cross-sectional area Uh, figure 8.1 shows three cells each with the EMF one one and a half fold connected in series and you can see all three of them connected in series uh, so calculate the combined EMF of the cells easiest one they are connected in series and they are connected in the order in an order where the negative is connected to positive then the negative once again connected to the positive in that situation we add the EMFs so it would be three times of one and a half volt and that would be 4.5 volts let's move on to the next one uh, calculate the combined resistance of the three resistors as shown in figure 8.1 so you need to find the overall resistance once again the easiest one you gotta solve this thing first these are connected in uh, in series so the total resistance of this thing if I draw a simplified circuit this battery would be four and a half volt if I combine all of them and if I combine these two resistors since they are connected in series so that would be five ohms and the last one would be there as it is 1 ohm and after that in the next step you gotta sort out the resistance of these two now you have two resistors which are connected in parallel so how do we find total resistance for the resistors connected in parallel the shortcut is the product divided by their sum so 5 divided by 6 alright then we have the next one calculate the current in the 4 ohm resistor in figure 8.1 and that is of for 3 marks so which one is the 8 ohm resistor 8 ohm resistor 4 ohm resistor okay so you what you need to find is let me raise off the extra stuff so the total, uh, total current of the battery comes from here let's call it the total current IT uh, now some of the current flows to the upper side let's call it I1 and some of the current passes through the lower side flows through the lower side let's call it I2 and the same current flows through both of them 4 ohm and 1 ohm 
so let's call it i1 this one as well so what you need to find is the value of i1 since we know the voltage across this thing since we know the voltage drop across the first uh, the upper path that is four and a half volt and we know the total current of this path as well sorry the total resistance of this path as well so let's call this current i1 the current i1 would be equal to the voltage across this loop uh, this path would be four and a half divided by the total resistance of this path which is 4 plus 1 5 because th those two resistors are connected in series and if you hit it on the calculator what do we get I think we should be getting the same answer 0 0.9 do we so you see there are plenty of methods that you can do to solve the same questions impairs so calculate the combined EMF if one of the cell is reversed okay so it should be an easy one let's not change the first and the second one I'm going to change the third one so let's make this one ne uh, negative so this one would now be negative the shorter terminal represents negative and the second one would be the right one would be positive what do we do now the ones that are connected negative after positive or in the with the opposite polarity we add them so 1.5 plus 1.5 and the last one since the negative the like terminal combines with the like terminals so in this situation you subtract so the third one would be minus 1.5 volts so plus 1.5 minus 1.5 cancelled out you'll be left with 1.5 okay anyway let's move on to the next one the electrical circuit in a closed wire contains two heaters x and y in parallel figure 10.1 shows the circuit connected to a 230 volts power supply uh, when both switches are closed the current in x is 3.5 amperes okay so this one the component x is withdrawing a current of three and a half amperes uh, calculate the power developed in the heater x so do we know the voltage across it yes do we know the current flowing through that one yes we do so how many volts do we have 230 because X and Y across both of them it would be 230 volts as they are connected in parallel direct to the battery or to the power supply so we have 230 volts here times the current passing to the component X is three and a half volt then we hit it on the calculator what do we get okay 805 watts with the capital W okay the next one is for four marks the resist uh, the resistance of X is double that of Y determine the total resistance of X and Y in parallel okay so that's an interesting one what we can do is we can find the resistance of the component X first okay we're going to find the resistance of the component X first and how do we do uh, well the resistance of the component X would be the voltage of the component X divided by the current passing through the component X so the resistance of X equals the voltage across it which is 230 divided by the current passing through it which is three and a half ampere so what do we get from here here on the calculator so we got we're going to write it as 66 ohms so 66 ohms is the resistance of the component X so let me read the sentence 
the resistance of x is 60 6 ohms and that is double that of y so that means the resistance of y is thirty three ohms right because only then the resistance of x would be double that of the y now we can combine these two in parallel the formula is the shortcut formula is product of the two resistors divided by their sum now hit it on the calculator once again 